Hey guys, so this is the Redmi Note 5 with the code name is Wired, and today I will show you how to unlock this phone, plus the custom recovery, and also plus the custom ROM. Okay, we're using the Android 12 on Nusantara OS. Okay, it has a nice display with the clean UI and lots of customization. Okay, all the files and instruction. I will provide it in my blog so please, please check the description box okay this is quite stable enough and also I made a quick review about this ROM okay the basic function of the ROM is it quite stable enough for the driver or not okay so stay tuned and check it out Hey, hello guys, Assalamualaikum, we meet again with Om Bob. This time we have another Xiaomi phone, this is the Redmi Note 5 okay, with the code name is Wired. And today we are going to try to custom this phone using Android 12 from Nusantara OS. Okay, so let's check it out the stock ROM. And here you can see we are using the latest firmware, the new 11.0.3 on Android 9. Okay. And <coughs> make sure you have unlock your phone okay unlock your phone you must activate the developer option hit the me version five times and go back and you will find additional setting right here okay then insert your me your me account go back additional settings and developer option <coughs> and hit on me unlock status and add account okay when adding account make sure you're using the data from the sim card okay and if you have message like this edit successfully it means that we're ready to go to unlock the pawn okay now let's turn off the pawn and we want to go to the fast boot, okay by pressing the volume uh, down and the power button okay Okay, let's press the two button. Okay, now we are in the fast boot mode. Let's plug in the USB cable. Put on the pawn and switch the screen. In here, I already have uh, me unlock tools, and I have login using the number and the password. Okay, it will send an OTP message to your phone, and insert that into the unlock tool, and you will see the screen. Okay, and all you need to do is hit the unlock button right here. It will unlocking. Okay, now it has been unlocked. Let's force the pawn to boot it again in the fast boot mode. Okay, pressing the volume down. Uh, sorry, wait. Let's wait until it's erased the <coughs> internal storage or format the data. After that, press the volume down, and we are automatically goes to the fast boot mode again. Okay, done. And then. For the next step, I already prepared this one. This is the folder we, where we have all the files, okay? And open Windows Terminal or PowerShell. Okay, now we're ready to type some command, okay? The first thing we need to do is we want to flash the custom recovery, okay? So just type this command, fast boot, space, flash, space, recovery space just click and drag the custom recovery okay and then the second command we want to boot into the custom recovery so type fast boot space boot and click and drag again the custom recovery
Okay, let's wait. And now we are in the custom recovery. And the next step is we want to format the data. Okay. Switch the screen, swipe it, go to the wipe menu right here and select format data, tap yes. Okay, hit enter. <clears throat> it's very simple. Okay, and then hit the home button, select reboot and recovery again. Okay. And for the next step, we want to wipe the three items. Okay, the Delphic data and cache. Okay. I'll go to the wipe menu again. This time, select the additional uh, advanced wipe. Select the Delphic cache and data. Okay, just wipe it. Mm. Hit the home button. And now we're ready to copy some files. Okay, let's switch again. Uh, okay. First thing I want to copy is the custom ROM. We're using the Nusantara 4.2. <clears throat> it is based on Android 12. Okay. Let's paste this one. And this is vanilla base. So it means it doesn't include the gaps. Okay, I will copy the gaps also. Uh, this is ARM64, Android 12, and we're going to try to use the nick caps, okay. <clears throat> okay, the size uh, is about 700 megabytes, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> okay, done. Let's copy the gaps. And I also want to copy the images. Uh, where is it? Uh, this is the latest one when I'm making this video canary base. Okay, we're done. Now switch the screen again. Okay, this time go to the install menu, select the custom ROM, the Nusantara, uh, swipe it. Okay, let's wait and just for information if some of my word doesn't clear doesn't clear enough you can always check my blog okay for the instruction and all the files that needed uh, the link is in the description box okay guys and also I forgot it is a good idea that I always pick up the FS but I forgot. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> okay, now after this, we want to reboot the uh, recovery again, just for safety. Okay. Okay, done. Now let's hit the home button, select reboot and recovery again. Okay, if you have warning like this, Orange Fox has detected that no S, okay, just ignore it and swipe it. And for the last step, we want to install the gaps. So you will have a uh, I store okay and also mages okay mages is always optional if you don't want mages uh if you do not want root access just skip the installing the mages okay
Okay, it's almost finished. Then now hit the home button and go to the wipe. Just want to make sure. Select format data and we will format the phone one more time. <clears throat> Okay, now just hit reboot system. Swipe it if there is any warning sign. Okay, now we are seeing the Nusantara OS boot logo. It means that the stock boot logo from xiaomi is replaced by the nusantara and let's hope it's put it into the android home screen okay Okay, nice very fast and it will ask for usb debugging you can accept it or ignore it okay now we are in the home screen okay let's stop this video and i will continue by making a quick review about the rom okay guys okay guys so this is the Redmi note 5 and now we're using the solar os on android 12 okay i will make a quick review about the basic function of the rom if it's quite stable enough for the driver or not, okay. First thing we need to do is, uh, okay, I want to install some apps. Let's install the checker and maps. Okay, just for fun. Okay. <laughs> uh, where is it? Uh, here we go, the maps. And also the uh, road checker, okay. It's quite nice the new display and the checker okay the android 12 has new display it's very refreshing and it has a lot of customization okay you can search in the central wing right here you can customize the system there is a game space uh, etc fingerprint lock screen status bar and etc okay you can try it yourself okay First thing I want to open is the images and we are already succeed facing the images okay this is the latest images using the canary and if you want to hide the images you must activate the images and hide it in here okay I will not cover that one you can check on my other video okay let's open the checker <clears throat> let's hit check and grant it Okay, your Redmi Note 5 is rooted on Android 12, nice. And the next one is the GPS. Let's try open the maps and see that if the GPS is quite accurate or not. Okay, it's quite fast and this is my home, okay. So this is very nice, the GPS is working. Okay, next, uh, can see right here I'm using the Wi-Fi Wi-Fi is working and if I turn off the sorry turn off the Wi-Fi we can also use the where is it uh, the data okay so let's open it using the data uh, <clears throat> okay there is no problem with sim card let's check the email Email. Okay, the email also safe, no problem. Uh, let's open the Wi-Fi. We're going to use the Wi-Fi also, and that's uh, done. Let's open the <coughs> browser. Okay, I want to test the sound and video playback. Uh, sorry. Uh, what is it? YouTube. Okay. Okay, let's play some video music. 
and let's see if it's working okay uh, Yeah, we'll play this song and see if the sound is working. Okay, <coughs> can you hear the sound? Okay, it seems that the sound and video playback is working, so there is no problem when playing music and video. Okay, and next I want to test the camera. <coughs> this is okay. This is using the AI camera from Xiaomi. I think it is camera that ported uh, from Xiaomi firmware. Okay, <coughs> let's test the back and front camera. Okay, the first thing I need to do, I want to take a picture and also video okay i will show you later okay guys so this is a video that recorded using the back camera from note 5 android 12 nusantara okay and then let's test the front camera uh, let's take a picture and let's record the video <coughs> okay guys now i'm recording using the front camera uh, using the wire at Sandra. Okay, let's stop this one and let's check the result. Uh, let's check in the gallery. It's using the gallery go. Let's allow it. And this is the result from the back camera. Quite decent. And the most important thing is working. Okay, there is no bug. Let's check the video playback. Okay, it is working. Now so I'm recording using the front camera. Uh, it's the wire and something like this one. Okay, guys. So the front and the camera is all working. Uh, taking a picture and recording a video is there is no problem. Okay, guys. So for the conclusion, <coughs> okay, the email is safe the data seller is working and we can also use the Wi-Fi okay, so there is no problem image is also working properly GPS is working perfectly and the video playback uh, that play music and video is working also working properly okay and then the camera there is no bug uh, that we tested it uh, can take a picture and also record video correctly okay so guys for the verdict I think this ROM is quite good enough for stable or daily driver you can use it because it's quite stable okay uh, <clears throat> okay that's all guys I hope you like this video this is a video tutorial on how to customize your Note 5 Sinus Center OS Android 12 and also a quick review. Okay, I hope you like this video. If you like, please give it a thumb. And I also have a lot of video about routing and custom ROM. Please check my other video. Uh, maybe you will find something useful. Okay, if you subscribe, it will make me excited to make new video. And take care, stay healthy, take care, and wassalamualaikum.